Hello and welcome to another video and in this video we're going to be reviewing some new stuff that I've just received. Uh, actually I've had it for a week or two now but I've only just really got around to making the video now and um, I'm really blown away by this stuff. This is really really cool and it's The Baron's Wars from um, Paul Hicks and Andy Hobday. Now you may know of Andy Hobday, he is the one of the minds behind the very successful game Test of Honor, which was the sort of feudal Japanese um, skirmish system, which is a really, really good game, which also spawned the sort of core mechanics and of the very successful Greek game by Andy Hobday of uh, Mortal Gods, which is really, really cool, which I have a lot of that, and I really do need to get into that more. But this is uh, Baron's Wars. Uh, if you're not really up to date with English history, basically the Barons Wars was a really cool period uh, back around about the, I think it was the 12th century. Um, basically, Richard I died, his younger brother John became King of England and John was a complete and utter cock, um, basically. He liked to essentially tax everyone and mainly the Barons to death, which resulted in the Barons basically kicking off, I believe, twice and it the the sort of end result of the barons wars was the magna carta which is essentially the the english or the uk's version of a, a constitution essentially we, we don't really have one but this is the closest thing to a constitution we have um there's some really cool films sort of based in and around that period obviously there's russell crowe's robin hood which is kind of loosely sort of touches on that sort of period of history in not a great way um, and you've also got Ironclad, which is about the siege of Rochdale, Rochdale Castle, I believe, uh, which is almost true. But I can't. I don't think there was any Knights Templars there. Anyway, they're still good to watch. And if you if you want to know more about the period, speak to Andy. He's a massive fanatic on the on the the time zone. Uh, YouTube have got a load of documentaries on it, and so is the History Channel and, and various other stuff, and there's loads of books, because it is such a really cool period. But, you're not here for a history lesson, you're here to look at some cool miniatures. So I did the Kickstarter, and I uh, went in for a basic pledge, and I got some stuff. So first things first, I got lots of cool stuff. I got lots and lots and lots of cool stuff. Um, so we'll we'll start by looking at the man and the legend of the period, which is uh, William Marshall. He this was a stretch goal uh, unlock. I believe it was a you got it free with your pledge if um, you spent a certain period. I think it was forty pound. And my camera. See if I can get zoom in on it a little bit. You know, a look at there you go. So there you go. Really, really, really nice. Cracking, cracking sculpt. As well as you get his Bannerman. A bit of flash there. Really, really cool. Really looking forward to doing some really cool freehand on there. Um, and what's really cool is I've noticed is you get, you get bases and then you get these spears. Now these, that that's pretty, that spear's pretty pretty hard pretty hard and you get a little spear point at the end which is kind of cool i like that that's pretty cool that's that's pretty awesome obviously it fits in his hand and and you're gonna have to sort of drill it out a little bit but you'll get the picture so yeah and then you get two wooden bases with this as well so he william marshall i think there's there's also a um a mounted version that you could have got for, uh, for William Marshall. Um, and I think that, again, you got given that at a certain um, a certain pledge amount, which is cool. Uh, hopefully they'll sell them separately. Again, this is the the command. So I got another, I got a, a, a knight commander on foot. Again, it's a really cool axe. So it's really nice. And I also got his bannerman. And again, uh, in with this pack, you get two bases and you get that big spear banner pole. Um, they're right nice. I think this is pack two. There's there's sort of the foot knight command, 
there is this one and another version. Uh, I quite like this one because this commander looks really imposing with that axe. And I'm a big fan of axes. I like axes. So that's the command. So next we have some foot knights. Yep, we have some more foot knights. Uh, and this was uh, this was seven pound for four miniatures. Get all the parts out. Again, four wooden bases. So you've got a bit of flash, but that's not a problem. They haven't been cleaned up. It's the first time they've been out of the, the packet. That way. So you got foot knight, and obviously he has a shield, and you've got your little lug nut at the back there for the shield to fit into, which is kind of cool. I like that. He's pretty cool, pretty awesome. You got again, spendy sword, but metal. It's got a nice mace hanging off his side, and a Part for a shield. I think these eyes have all got shields. So you get different size shields. Really cool. And then the last two. So yeah. That's I think foot night one or foot night two. Um I got a couple of I got I got a couple of foot knights. Because they're knights. Second, more foot knights. Again, wooden bases. Um, bases. Let's throw them back in there. So these guys, again, um, some shields for some of them. Little shields and bigger shields. Some more knights with swords. And this guy's got a gnarly mace. And... Oh, there's another shield in the bag there. I thought I was missing one there, but there isn't shield here. Just to make sure that you don't think I'm missing a shield. Shield there. So, yeah, more foot knights. Foot knights are cool. I like foot knights. I'll show you the big boys. I'll show the big boys at last. So, then we got some peasants. Because, you know, you, you kind of you, you got to have some men at arms. Um, you got to have some men at arms in your army. A new little warband. Now, I do believe Andy is working on a rule set for Baron's Wars. Um, and I really can't wait. And there is more to come for uh, the range. See, in this, I got four, four archers. Really, really, really nice. Really going to enjoy painting those guys up. And, and the really cool thing about these miniatures as well is... Is if you do, if you're not necessarily want to play Baron's Wars, but you are interested in historical gaming, and you want some really cool historical miniatures, then these are really really worth getting. Um, as well as you know, they they'll be really good for games like Frostgrave, uh, Kings of War, uh, and other you know fantasy skirmish systems. Now these guys are spearmen. Now the spears again are this really quite hard and durable metal but they've, they've got the little spear points at the end which I think is great and it's better than the bendy things you know we normally buy historical spears and they're a nightmare so obviously you're gonna have to drill a hole through there through his hand but you're gonna be able to get the spear in there that's fine I can live with that I mean, a little bit of modeling is it's not 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 bad it's a little little men at arms spearman Another little minute arm spearman again. You're gonna have to drill holes through, but a fine drill bit will, will definitely be able to do that. Again, really, really quality, absolutely quality. I like this guy. Rawr. So yeah, these that's the minute arms with the spearman, and you get you get four of those spears as well as four wooden bases as normal. In there. And again, these are seven pound, um, seven pound. And now the big guys, the best till last. And oh boy, oh boy, these are cool. These things weigh a ton. So 
some mounted knights. Again, you get some big bases and you get a couple of shields. And again, you get these quite hard spears. And obviously, then they're going to need to be cut down to size. I guess you could say that for the lances. But look at these. Look at this horse. Look at that flash. But that is it's one piece. That's that's going to be, you know, you've got loads of area here for some freehand and stuff. That's really, really nice. And then the mounted knight on top. I see a bit of flash here. Get rid of that. You've got the mounted knight. And then again, you know, a little bit of a drill straight through there to the back of the hand. You'll be able to insert the... The spear and then the shield on the other side on the lug there and then this guy again another nice horse really really nice and I like the fact that it is a one-piece horse it's a solid bit of metal and again another mounted knight and you put the hole in there for the spear and he's got his shield as well but they are impressive really are impressive and that is Baron's Wars. Let's bring our box over. So I'll stick everything back in the box. I'll zoom out a bit for you. Doo -doo. Yay, technology. And that is Baron's Wars. Baron's Wars. Um, designed um, by Andy Hobdy and Paul Hicks. Um, cast up and produced by Footsaw Miniatures. And they... And in sculpted, I can't remember the sculptor's name. I think it's Scavros or something like that. Anyway, anyway, if you go over to the foot store um, miniatures Facebook page, there's loads of um, pictures of this stuff, and it's really, really awesome. And I can't wait for this, the gaming system and to see what else they bring out on the range. So that's Baron Wars. Thanks very much for the video uh, and um, watching. Again, like, subscribe, ring that bell and all of that good stuff. Uh, tell your mates. And if you want to support the page more directly, you can head over to my Patreon page where I have it set up. Uh, you can become a gold member and get access to all of my tutorial videos early before they come up on YouTube. And at certain levels, they, at certain amount of backers, they, I will start doing a exclusive content for my uh, Patreon backers as well. And once it gets a little bit bigger, I will also create a Discord server for you to come over and, and have one-to-one -one chats with me and talk about painting and all that jazz. So thanks again, and I hope you enjoy it, uh, the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.